Hi everybody, Modern Curious here. So today we're gonna talk a bit about the swamp fox. This is my first swamp swamp fox uh, optic. Uh, this is a Justice, uh, Liberty and Justice. This one's Justice, if I remember correctly. Uh, three M O A. This was actually intended for a different firearm, but unfortunately, shutter's department screwed up my paperwork, so I had to wait for the new paperwork to pick it up. So, I put it on something else, but let's first look at you know, the package it comes with, and you're going to get quite a bit of stuff they give you, other than a sticker and an owner's manual and basic stuff. They give you really uh, cleaning cloth, they give you a ton of screws. So lots of screws all different so that's nice of them uh, and they spend a quite a bit of money on a, a packaging I guess you get a flat screwdriver for adjustment and you get this torque uh, torque screwdriver uh, and of course you get a dot which right now the dot that's in there is not a dot this is a uh, this is a hole or something so that's my this is my Zep technology uh, P320. I replaced uh, I replaced the uh, Holo Sun with this uh, uh, Justice from Swamp Fox, and right off the bat, you can see it this way, you can tell the windows a lot bigger. I mean, they essentially the height and all that is about the same, but the window is quite, quite, uh, quite a bit bigger on it. And uh, the backup sides, you can still co-witness them. I mean, just barely you can see the top of the front side, but you can if you apply yourself. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and zero it. And uh, I'll tell you what you think. I mean, first impression, it's a really nice dot. Uh, it's, a, it's a budget dot. I got this from Optics Planet. No affiliation with them. For, uh, I think, just around $200. Uh, I was kind of skeptical, but then I started reading uh, and watching reviews. And... Uh, What's the guy's name? The Sage Dynamic. He beats the shit out of this dot. He drops it a couple of times. Yes, he developed the crack in the lens, but the thing kept working. So that sold me on that on, on that optic. And I don't really need a big bulky optic like an SRO or something like that. Because this is, you know, even though I might shoot this in competition, this is more of my home defense or, or, or self-defense firearm. And um, I don't really need a big, big, uh, big window. Uh, you're gonna say then why did you buy it why not stick with the hole or something because I wanted to <laughs> just wanted to try something else and like I said I need another dot for another uh, another uh, pistol that is coming so uh, let's put a couple of shots I have a target over there and let's just zero it in and I'll tell you what I think uh, before we do that one thing I'm not that crazy about is uh, the battery compartments on top but you have to use a, a this tool. You have to use a torque driver to to take it off. That's kind of not huge of a deal, uh, but it is because if you gotta if you gotta do it on the fly and you don't have the the torque, then you kind of screwed. You know, if it would be regular flat a uh, uh, flat slot, you can pretty much use anything to open it. So that's that's the only thing. I guess tool like this, adding it to your EDC somewhere in a truck, is not that big of a deal. Uh, also, if you're gonna change the batteries regularly, you shouldn't have a need for it. But it's just a little, little downfall. Uh, other than that, I'll I'll post a link to the specs. You don't want to hear me talking about the specs. Uh, adjustment uh, knobs are on the side. Uh, I think it's got ten different brightness settings. I'm I'm at about five or so. So without further ado, uh, I got a fairly small target. Hopefully, this dot is fairly on, and if the sights are any indication I should be fairly fairly close ooh that's a first metal function I have with this gun but it, that round was kind of soft okay finally I'm on the paper so I gotta come up Come up, and I gotta go right. Uh, the adjustment knobs are not really nice tactile. You can't really hear them, so you're kind of just winging it. Uh, 
and I'm winged it pretty good. You know, I got the last couple of shots pretty good. Let me let me show you. Let me show you where we at. All right, so it took me a while getting on the paper. I got it here, made the adjustments. That's the next shot and the following shots. Not sure what that is, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three shots went somewhere completely off the paper. Uh, so let's. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna paste this and and take a couple more shots. Try to do it semi decent. We are shooting at 25 yards though. You know, so it's. Uh, I'm not a bullseye shooter, but uh, let's try to get it closer. All right, let's take our time, see if we can print a semi-decent group. I mean, should probably go off the rest, but never gonna be shooting from the rest. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was no good. It happens when you reload and you don't pay attention. You see the primary sideways? So it wasn't squared. All right, now the full 10 shot, we got a 9 shot, and that's pretty decent, I would say. Let's take a look. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, so with exception this one, I got all of them in this, what is it, 8-inch circle. Almost a fist size at 25 yards, I'll take that. I'll call that a 0. I do my best to show you the dot, but to be honest, I can see them thing through the camera, so I don't know if you can see it or not. But this gives you a view of the glass. So looking through the glass, I mean, it's got a little bit of the tint tint to it, but here's a here's a hollow sun. So side to side you can tell the windows a little bigger and the tint on the glass is less than the hollow sun if you look at a, a real image on the left an image through the viewfinder you can tell color difference opposed to this one has a little bluish tint but it's a lot less all right so i'm actually highly impressed with the with the with the dot for the for the money it seems like a really good option that they give you all the tools you need. Uh, wish the adjustment knobs were, were a little tactile, but but they're not. But the size was fairly on uh, from the get-go. And uh, it's just good-looking sight. It doesn't have the, the solar panel. I don't know how long the battery is going to actually last in this. Because, like I said, this thing was sitting in the box for a while, but I haven't. this is still on the original battery. But, uh, you know, the, the, the adjustment buttons are, are rubber-coated, easy to get to. The battery is fairly easy to get to as well. So, it, all in all, uh, it's, a, it's a really good, really good optic. You're not going to see me dropping this uh, because I don't want to. <laughs> uh, go watch the Sage Dynamic. Uh, I might link his video somewhere uh, where he beats the crap out of this optic and it, and it survived. Uh, his... His uh, review pretty much said it's good to go for day-to-day -day use. He wouldn't recommend it for a, for a duty, which I don't necessarily agree because it, it survived a couple of chest high or, or shoulder high drop uh, on, a, on, a, on a concrete. So I'd say that's more than, more than adequate. Uh, if you're going to drop your optic once in the line of duty, or you're going to scuff it up while you're fighting on the ground, and you're gonna keep using the same optic? No, you're gonna replace it because you want something 100% reliable. So I, I'd say if it survives two of those drops, you're good to go for for duty use as well. But I don't think this is actually advertised as a duty use. But uh, so far I'm liking it. We'll see how it holds up. Uh, we'll we'll just keep shooting it. But uh, so far I'm really happy about it.
Uh, well done, Swamp, Swamp Fox. Liberty and justice for all. <laughs> so the smaller one uh, is a liberty, I, I believe. This this is a bigger one, and it's uh, it's justice. Uh, yes, it's made in China, just like every everything else. But uh, uh, these days, these days, uh, it's gonna be hard to press find something that's not. Uh, that's it. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. And as always, have fun and keep shooting.